Hi everyone, Brian from Witch Doctor here. Yeah, I just did a really quick follow-up test to my primer seeding depth test. Um, I get a lot of comments on my videos and, and some posts um, on different forums and whatnot, and I really appreciate them. Lots of people speculating about causes and other potential factors and variables, and that's wonderful. Um, one thing that did kind of catch my eye on a comment was someone had mentioned, well, you know, that BR4, maybe it's just quote unquote sensitive to seeding depth. <laughs> um, it, it's an interesting concept. I know I know we, we have that concept when we look at sort of bullet design and, and, and things like that, but uh, never heard of it, you know, for primer seeding. So, but I thought, hmm, you know, interesting idea. I, I'm not sure, you know, what will come about that, but you know, I said, well, let me try another primer and, you know, see if that is, you know, quote unquote, sensitive to seeding depth. Um, and I did, went ahead and did the exact same test that I did with the first test with the BR4s. I took the 450s and I essentially um, seeded um, them in different variations of seeding, flush with the case head, 2000 seeded in, 4000 seeded into the primer pocket, 6000 in, and then 8000 in. Again, 8000 is that that sort of SAMI spec. Um, it's also the, the 8 nine thousands was the one that did the best in the previous test. So um, eight thousand seems to be a magical number here. Um, anyway, so I went ahead and did the shooting and um, for this one, I didn't do as much as the first one with the BR4. Um, basically after two sets of, of five shot groups here, it was pretty obvious that the the eight thousand seating depth is is optimal and is the best. Um, I didn't go ahead and do three more, you know, sets of firings because it just, once I have already concluded something from a previous test that was very comprehensive and statistically significant, um, and then I get started on another one and the same effect starts to show, uh, it's pretty hard to just keep going there. I'd rather allocate my resources now to other tests. But, but yeah, these are the average group sizes for uh, the two five-shot groups for each of these. Um, the five-shot groups... Uh, sets were shot on different days so this top set here was shot a few days ago and this bottom set here was shot the other day um, anyway as you can see the 8000s had the smallest group size 0.242 um, the largest group size was 6000s um, which as you can see lots of like flyer here and then a 3-2 here actually boy that's a couple flyers um, and this is very consistent with my previous testing that showed that if you don't seed it correctly, you're going to get a lot of flyers. Um, when you seed it at eight thousandths or nine thousandths, um, you get the ideal anvil compression and small groups. Um, okay, so that concludes this brief follow-up test. It, it appears that um, you know a certain primer may be sensitive to seeding. I, I don't know. I'm not sure that that my results are suggesting that. I think they're more suggesting that. Um, the, the anvil compression of eight thousandths, um, which is what Sammy spec is, Sammy was on to something, um, is the ideal compression for the anvil. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. Take care. Please subscribe, like, and share.